of this match is going to face the uh, in-form seventh seeds, Gikel and Del Rue, who dispatched of Ellis and Smith in straight games. Should be an interesting matchup, this one. The 25 ranked pair, Reginald and Ung against the number 17 world ranked pair, Cheng Tang Ji and To Iwei. And here they come. Quarter-finalists in Singapore and quarter-finalists at the German Open, but a debut as a pair here at the World Championships. From Malaysia. They're capable enough. And here are their opponents from Malaysia. Cheng Tangji and Toei Wei, who have been in great form, actually, in 2023. Picked up a couple of titles at the Olio Masters and the Taipei Open. Also, what was that third place at the Singapore Open as well? So, definitely in the ascendancy. But debut for them as well as a pair. So, two debut pairs stepping onto the bigger stage, looking for a good run here. As I said earlier, for mixed doubles pairs of this ranking as well. It's all the more important to get as many ranking points as you can from events, and it's the World Championships and the Olympics that yield the most points. Chen and Toh leading 1-0 in the head-to-head so -head last time they met at the Singapore red, Open. Red, black. As we get into the coin toss, that was, of course, that run I was telling you about, which led to Chen and Toh finishing in third spot. Chen received. As always with mixed doubles, far more fixed in terms of positions than men's and women's doubles. Usually the female player up at the front, patrolling, looking for those interceptions and kills. And the male player, Chen and Reginald, both at the back, looking for the big shots and finding those angles. Of course, it's not... 100% fixed like that, as we just saw earlier. There's been a lot of mixed doubles on court today. They can interchange, but generally speaking, that's how they fix together. So 29 years old now, Reginald Lee, born in Hong Kong. Ranked 25 has been as high as six. And that was back in June of 2014. Bronze medalists before the World Championships in 2017. Mixed doubles as well. And there's his partner, Ng Si Yao. And together, they have come up with some very good results. And that was an interesting match, Silva and Lima, due to the height of Davi Silva. That was round one. And as you can see, he went to three games, 46 minutes. Cheng Tangji, 25 years old, still a lot to come from him in terms of his career at that age. Has been as high as 14, that was in July of this year. So they are peaking at just the right time. As I said, they picked up a couple of good titles as well, the Orleo Masters in Taipei. So they're certainly buzzing in terms of form. Toei Wei, 22, born on the south coast, on the east coast really, or west coast, I should say, of Malaysia, Malacca. I should really know that, trust me. Currently ranked 17th, and this is close to their highest ranking. Ready to play. They've got a buy-in, being one of the top seeds. So this is their first match. As I said, that can work either way for you. Umpire for this one, Wang Chao Wei Charles. And our service judge, Jacob Sinberg. Uh, 
Uh, as always with mixed doubles. As I said, it's not really fixed formations, but it's very much set into that front court and back court roles for the two players. And you do get this orbital defensive formation where the back court player will arc around the front court player. Right, you don't usually see in men's and women's doubles, but always fast, always furious. And I'm sure they were just watching some of the other mixed doubles matches that we've seen and the wonderful performance that was put in by Dechapol and Sapsiri a couple of matches ago, right here on court two. About ready to get underway here. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Dangjie and Du Yiwei, Malaysia. And on my left, Li Chunhee, Yuchno, and Wu Ziyao, Hong Kong, China. Wu Ziyao to serve to Chen Tangjie. Love all. Play. Play. Silver, one, love. So be silver, one, well, quick four. fire points to kick off the match. Not really settled into any kind of rhythm or rally. And they do play at a very fast tempo, Chen and To. I said very much in the ascendancy in terms of their season so far. And that's always good when you can peak at the World Championships. I mean, it really is about making a run and peaking at the right time. And that's first big shot from Chen Tangji. Be happy with yes. that. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was four, two. Very fast indeed, as I said. Lee and Ung had a very tough match against Silva and Lima from Brazil. Of course, wonderful to have that Brazilian Whoa! badminton Whoa! contingent up here at the World Five. Championships. Cool. It's been wonderful to watch, but just if you did watch that pair, well, Davi Silva is absolutely towering. It was a very odd pair to play against, but they still came through. They lost a game, but they still came through. So that was. A tough match for them. Six, two. Now, in this second match, the first for Chen and To, they're facing a far more, shall I say, conventional pair in terms of size. Two. But again, it's fast, two. fast play from Chen and To. Seven, two up immediately, just three minutes on the board. Stakes Eight. from Unsi Yao. So this four call too high. So it's over. Too enthusiastic Three. on the serve. Eight. Eight. 
four, eight. Well, patchy start, Five, quick points. Eight. Well, coming through, it's really not developed in any way yet. So it's over, nine, five. Rapidly approaching mid-game interval for this first game. We have a challenge for you. You can challenge, but I already it's too late because I already gave the signal. So you, if you want to challenge, you have made it in Oh, well, okay. looks like Reginald's asking for a challenge, but he might just be too late. We've nine, moved on. Five. Has to be within a certain time frame, as you'd expect. Can't be backtracking. Yes, we you have. Yes. So it stands at 9 5. Well, you hardly ever see that. Most of these players are well aware of that. Well, well I guess that wasn't really a challenge six, on nine. the flanks or the back line. That was an unsighted serve, I guess. Out. Take by Tang Ji. Mistake from Wing Si Yao. And Ten, Malaysian seven. pair looking good for that mid game interval break. They go ahead in the lead. Line judge, Wabla Kong, please. Quick tower only. Really aren't the most conventional pair, Chen and Toh. I guess you could say that they are still finding their feet in terms of being a very recent pairing. Sometimes it can be hard when you do get the wins coming in because then you set yourself your own benchmark as to how good you have to be. But if you look at them in the way that they move, it's far more reactive than proactive. And once again, I have to say, if you just look at the top pairs, Zheng Shi Wei, Wang Yashong, Dech Paul and Sapsiri, you can just see their movement is so well orchestrated. Nice pick up by Toei Wheeler. But as Dechapol and Sapsiri showed earlier on, they're not just well practiced and well trained. They were very reactive against Tanjung Man and Seeing Sweat. It always needs to be versatile. It's nice from Toei Wei. That's beautiful. So 11 8. And looking good. Malaysian pan. So back on court for the second phase of game one. 11 8. Play. So it's over. 9 11. Oh. 
Great body defence from Cheng Tanji. Now oh, he's got some service into his big smash. Oh, it's a beautiful push into the flank, left flank. Well, this is what's won them a couple of titles this year, this good hustling play. There isn't much between them in terms of world ranking. Silver, 10, 12. 11, 12. Tied up, 12 apiece. And still hasn't really developed into the rallies that we'd expect. Both pairs, as I said, making their debut here at the World Championships. And perhaps some nerves in there, but that's good. Oh! Over, 13, 12. So Chen and Toe. Doing what they do best, trying to keep that play very quick. A good tempo and pace to each of the points. Oh! That's a good angle from Toei Wheat. So 14 12. And beginning to exert a decent enough grip on this first game. Fourteen, twelve. So on serve, and a chance now for Chen and Toe to really make some inroads into this lead. Oh! Oh, that's nicely dropped into mid-court. Reginald took a bit of a tumble there, getting wiped down. Thank you. As I've said earlier, these wiped down breaks can help, of course, by cleaning up the court. But in terms of a fast-paced match, they can also lead to a breakdown in that rhythm. It can really help. They can also offset your opponents. So 15-12 on serve. from Toei Reed. Angle found by Chen Tangji. That's what he's been good at. That's what led them to those two titles this year. Vision like that. Lifted it over into the backcourt. I just feel that if they do get to 
that 17th and 18th point might just be a bridge too far for Leonung. They have to make their stand right now. That's a good start by getting that serve back. Thanks added to the mix and Chen and To looking good for this first game. Exerted by Reginald. 15, 17. They haven't given up the ghost just yet in this first game. The Hong Kong pair. Oh. Oh. And again, good power from Reginald, and now they're just. One point back. And once again, as you can see, it's not just Sunday badminton players that have to go looking for that shuffle. <laughs> Happens all the way up here at the World 16, Championships as well. 17. Not very often, has to be said, but... Well, retrieved by Cheng Tangji. Shot into the corner. 17 all. Well, they've definitely picked up their pace a bit now. Seemed a little bit overwhelmed, Neenung, at the beginning of this game. Tied it up at 17. Position now for Chen and Tel. Having a fight for this first game. Oh. Oh. So deep serve. 18. Didn't oh. work out for them, and this looking more and more likely. Like it could be heading to extra points. Oh, oh nicely dropped. Caught flat footed. It's over. 19. Tang Ji saw the opportunity. They are both just sitting back, leaning. It's a beautiful drop into the front. Two birds ago on that point, and that's what I mean about them being a very young pair in terms of being set up. Still a few positional tweaks they can make to their defensive formation. Just a little bit too vertical there, leaving a bit too much space on the sides. And in terms of attacking prowess, they certainly have all the weapons they need. So 19 all. What looked like a foregone conclusion for Chen and Toe is now. Well, they could go either way. Silver. Oh. 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 Game point. 19.
So game point for Chen and Tilt. Moving forward, that's First game, good pressure from them. 21 19. 19. That took just 19 minutes. Court to 20 seconds. Court to 20 seconds. So back on court for the second game. And at this point, it is my great pleasure and honor to bring into the commentary box uh, the world number 27 and double medalist of the second Commonwealth game. Games, Kirsty Gilmore. Thanks for joining us Love today. Ball. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Play. Well, what have you made of this match so far, Kirsty? The um, mixed doubles? Yeah, been a bit of an up and down one, really. Um, I think uh, Chen and Toh are the more physical pair here, but I think perhaps maybe they get a little bit carried away sometimes in pressing certain areas and they leave a, a couple of gaps open, which uh, the Hong Kong pair definitely capitalised on. Um, but I think their physicality can get them through this if they can keep that control yeah. Um, to the game as well. They are a very phys physical pair, and yeah. that's what's really pushed them this season. They've had a pretty good Challenge season as well. A couple one of title remaining. wins already. Service over. One. As we get Lock. this second game underway. Play. Early challenge. Bold challenge yeah. to start. Oh. Service over. One. All. Well, it says, as we get these early points out of the way, I mean, it's wonderful to have someone that's actually been playing on these courts for the last two days as well. The conditions in the Royal Arena for you. It's drifty, on, right? Yeah, drifty. It's, been, it, it's been a really tricky one. Um, normally, we don't really have to consider drift in, in Europe. Yeah. Um, because it tends to just be with the heat of Asia. Oh. They'll, they'll crack on wow. the air con. But, um, Humidity. Yeah, it's been really side drifty here a little left bit right. slow back and forwards and yeah from where we're sitting left to right drift so we're gonna see um oh! down the hong kong oh! pair's backhand oh! side on this court oh. we might see oh. a couple of shots drift out that that sideline um if the malaysians aren't careful fantastic well back to the game and it's two all after that early challenge Channing to able now to play with that extra level of confidence with one game in the bag. Such a fast pace to these points. No! No! That's absolutely huge from Toei Wee. But she does very well. Absolutely. Tang Ji was just that little block up there mm -hmm. and sets it up nicely, open court. The other side, so important to have that movement uh, between the pairs. I was just saying earlier that we've watched, of course, the number four pair, Tetrapol and Sapsiri, and they are so in sync with each other as so to where tune. they are. Absolutely. 
And that comes to, from like the beginning of a partnership. That comes with like open verbal communication. But once you get to, I mean, these both these pairs have played with each other for a, a good amount of time now, and it it literally just does become second nature. And and you don't really need to Three, say yours or mine four. every single time. And you just kind of know where each other is going to be on the court roughly. But then occasionally there's a little miscommunication. Well, as, as I said, in, in that match earlier, there were times it was a very unorthodox passage of play as well. But they just seemed to know where the other one was, no! yep. wherever they were. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so it's like beautiful to watch when there's a yeah. partnership that are doing it really well. Totally agree, 100%. So good burst from Chen and Toe. And they've taken... A two-point lead here in this second game. That's great touch on the net. Oh! They've got to pull in those arrows Five. as well. They've just been a bit left and right. So Chen and Toe trying to consolidate this lead of theirs. Right now, three points, you feel just not quite enough. And he's called out of yeah. position there, oh. Reginald. Six. Cool. Absolutely, I think Chen's quite good at finding those spaces. If someone's pressed forward, he's got the wherewithal to, to find that gap up and over. Reginald maybe committed a bit for, uh, committed a bit much forward there. So six two on serve. No! No! Seven. Two. Another little miscommunication there. Does not like them. Well, I like to think it's 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 the pressure that they're under. I mean, they really have to deliver in this second game. It's not just about keeping up with the points anymore. It's not just about keeping up with the rallies. They have to do something to really break into their opponent's play. Absolutely. And as soon as you're out your natural game and you're trying to maybe go one better no! or try something a little different than... Nine. Errors can, can Errors creep, creep in, in. yeah. I actually just saw that with uh, Toma Jr. pop off in the singles with, with sure. Kodai. He was really pushing it in the second game. And the, the, the best kind of progression he was having was when he was, was playing the rallies through. Mm. Not looking for that big shot. Well, oh, we're still in it. Oh. That's what I meant about reactive Salva. defensive formation <laughs> from yeah, Genito. <laughs> They still have a lot of work to do, but offensively, I mean, in terms of attacking sense, they they love pushing forward. Oh, absolutely. They've coordinated the attack, they've coordinated the haircuts. Defense is next on the list. I, I said, as a follower of the Malaysian team, as a Malaysian myself, I've, I've watched these haircuts. These hair colors change throughout the year. I love it. <laughs> absolutely yeah, I, love it. I, the actual thinking behind it is it's supposed to match the, the color of the tournament. So for the oh, Asia no! Championships, it was orange. That's, that's sure. Yeah. Ten, I like the gray. I like the gray. Silver. Yeah, silver, gray. <laughs> that's it. Well, they've pushed ahead here. 10-3 on the brink of the second mid-game interval. And that's the power. That's the energy that you see from them. There's their coach, Nova. Very happy with the progression of this pair over the last few months. Well, I see Yao almost covered the entire court. So we that point. And there's that drift coming into play in, in the opposite sense and really holding up the shuttle and keeping it in that sideline. Yeah, it's been happening on that, on that left side. 
Especially on the deep lift serves, you can actually see it bend. A hundred percent. I felt in uh, a couple of my matches when uh, it would it would travel okay in the mid court, and then when it got to that kind of round the head corner on the other side, as we're looking at it, it take, takes a sharp right turn. Yeah, bend it like Beckham. <laughs> Absolutely. A challenge coming in on this tenth point. Oh, I should say, fifteenth point. And here it comes. Well, that's good. Absolutely good. Direction. Clearly in. So it's over. We have a four interval. Asian flags. Good to see here in the Royal Arena. So back on court for the all important second phase of game two. And it's all eyes on Lino. They're going to turn it round. They have to turn it round right now. 11 4. But again, what would they have to do? I mean, I think it's a tough ask. It's almost youth over experience here so far. It's that kind of explosive energy of the Malaysians versus a bit more experience of the, the Hong Kong pair. But uh, so we saw thus far, five, youth 11. is sneaking it. But we'll see what, uh, see what the, like you say, if they're going to do something, they're going to have to do it right yeah, now. Right now, yeah. Can't leave it till the latter part of this game. So we saw when her, they won't have the... Five. Benefit of mistakes. Absolutely. With Toe just being so dominant at that net, she's yeah. so busy. And even when she's off the sh off the ball, off the shuttle, she's in a space so that you definitely can't hit it there. And it makes her partner's yeah. job very yeah. easy. She's she does so much work even when she's not hitting the shuttle. So it creates like an imposing presence. Absolutely. Yeah. Which leads to more attacking chances yeah. for them and it kind of it's a, a vicious cycle for their opponents. It's like a domino effect, you're right. Yeah. Wow, That's again, so nicely far. dropped in. 13, Took a vicious dip six. after it crossed the tape. You have no choice but to brace for a smash when he goes up like that. Yeah. And that's what. That's it. I mean, if he comes in with that disguised drop. It's a tough ask. That's also a tough skill to do that. Mm, absolutely. Especially on the, at the speed that they play at. And especially in an, an arena like this, which is such, such a vast space. The first yeah. couple of days hitting in here and getting acclimatized, seven, you really have 30. to wait that extra 0.2 of a second to let that shuttle really come into your racket. I mean, oh. I, I think they're up to speed and they've got the, the timing now, but first couple of days, that's a yeah. tough, tough right. skill to master. Straight onto the attack as you expect from Chen and Toe. Oh, well, that was nice. Nice. Eight, 13. And I think that's it. If they can just get past this attacking wave, there will be space around because they're not 100% comfortable with covering that court. So it's over. 14. Mark Chen and Toe going to be having this little buffer that they have. Gives them a little bit of breathing room. Oh. And that's 50. pretty well left. Eight. And that's the other thing. Frustration when those when those uh, lengths go a bit too long when you're in this situation. Yeah, I would say this is a, a generally a little bit slower haul, um, but hitting this way towards where we're sitting is. Uh, I'm going to use the technical term of a smooch. 
a smooch faster coming this a way. Smooch faster, a smooch faster, I like faster. that. Um, I'm going uh, the other way. It's quite, it's quite a nice. I think it's kind of the perfectly good. fine term. <laughs> I think if we checked it up, it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. That's very nice. Straight to the feet, and now looking in total control. I think they've firmed up. Oh, that's like a no look shot. <laughs> yeah. I think they've firmed up those uh, kind of little errors they were making in the first, and they're cruising now, I would say. Maybe it's going to be commentator's curse, though. Well, that's the thing. You never tell. But I have to say, from this position, it would be a real headline <laughs> if Fresh Little Me could yeah. come back. Oh, that's very nice. That was, I don't think you we'll expecting take, that. We'll take Nine, a frame on the line. 17. <laughs> So 34 minutes on court, and Chen and Toe just have to calm themselves down and see through these last four points. And it's a round three encounter against Ellison Smith or Gikel and Del Rue. And if I'm right, it's Gikel and Del Rue who have come through. Already. But there are so many levels in the mixed level in the mixed doubles game. There is. So if you look at the likes of Zheng Shiwei and Wang Yashong and Dechapon Sapsiri, they take it just to a different level. A hundred percent. They're kind of almost aside, onto, yeah. like aside from the rest of them. At times, the they're the almost pack. looking like two or three shots ahead when they're when they're playing. Yeah, a few of my uh, Scottish counterparts have come off a couple of those games, and uh, yeah, I've kind of thought it's an experience. What what were we supposed Nine. to? We couldn't have done more. We couldn't have done more. Yeah. So. Closing in here, 19-9 on serve. And they could close it out off this serve. Couple of points. And things almost looking mathematical for Leoneng at this point. Oh, no. help that. Yeah. Couldn't quite make it over the tape. So, we've got 11 match points. I wonder how many they're going to need. And that's it. So, well, all in all, it was really hard going for Lee and Ng right from the start. And this juggernaut almost of, of energy, as you're saying, Kirsty, that Chen and Tan put in was just good enough to push them through. Absolutely. I think towards the end, they had really good success with pushing them back with, with the Hong Kong pair back with power, taking the speed out and dropping it below in front of the service line. Sealed off a good few points at the end there. 36 minutes and they are through. Round three performance for them against the French pair of Gitel and Delroux. Looking at that last point again. It's always the fist bumps and the cheers. They've started their campaign well. That's confirmation of it. 21 19, 21 9. Good stuff. Now, up next is the women's doubles, and uh, in my view, one of the best pairs out right now, Kim and Kong, taking on Suya Ching and Lin Wanqing from Chinese Taipei. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>